Morgan said you're a bowman. What's good, YouTube, man? Thank y'all for tuning in to I Am Fresh. And we are back at it again with another video. And to my Fresh fan, thank y'all so much for always tuning in with your boy. As you can tell by the title of this video, we got yet another new What the hell is going on? Boy, and what is that new toy? Yes, sir, we got us a pistol crossbow, man. This is something that I found off of Amazon. Um, it's a real budget, entry-level pistol crossbow. As you can see, it's by a brand called Bear X, and the model is the Desire XL. Bigger and better and stronger. Up to 175 feet per second. It's got a 60-pound draw weight on there. It's 2.2 pounds in weight, and the length is 22 to 24 inches. So without further ado, I'm going to pull this thing out the box, get this thing on the tabletop, get it put together, man, so we can go over this thing. All right, y'all? Let's get it. Yeah, boy. All right, Fresh fans. so we got this bad boy put together and on the tabletop, man. So I'm going to do this one vlog style. I'm actually going to hold the camera. Hopefully, I can keep this thing steady for you all because I'm um, Mounting the camera just doesn't get the whole thing in the picture and we need to move around this thing. So without further ado, man, let's just jump into it. All right. It's a pistol crossbow. But the thing I like about this most is even though it's a pistol, it has a good old stock on there. So it has like a real SBR type vibe, right? You can shoulder this thing, get max stabilization. It also comes outfitted with a foregrip, easy attached to it as well, too. But like I said before, this is a pistol. So you can run this in the pistol configuration. All right. So you can take all this stuff off and just run it. Um, just as a handheld if you wanted to. It has a 60 pound draw weight on there, so I guess that's the tension um, that's on here. Uh, please don't chew me up in the comment sections. I'm new to the crossbows, y'all, so this is actually my first one. I got this because I wanted something real budget friendly, entry level, something that I can work my way around and get to know before I jumped out there and start spending real cheese. If you look back here, it has an adjustable rear sight as well too, and you can adjust for um, elevation as well too. If you look right here, it has a fixed fiber optic front sight right there and as we work our way around as you can see has a railing system in which this red dot is mounted now this red dot does not come with it that's just something i threw on there because i had one laying around so i just threw a red dot up top man i think it looks sweet it is not dialed in because i just slapped it on there for the sake of this video however it does co-witness well i think that's worth mentioning it's also outfitted with a safety if you look right here this is the safety you push this forward like so that's fire you bring that back as you see that trigger just locks forward like that this thing is on safe all right they recommend that you do not leave this drawn in the cock position if you're going to store it um they say leave it down um do not cock it one you can wear down the tension as well as you can have an accidental discharge okay it does come with a stringer cable so you're able to attach and detach the crossbow string right here um they recommended that you oiled the rail as i did right here oil the rail i think every 60 shots um the string here is good for up to a year man that this is not a toy um this thing is extremely dangerous they said this thing is rated for up to 250 yards yeah which i think is absolutely crazy here's the arrows that it came with i went ahead and bought some extra arrows as well because i imagine i'm going to lose some of them so i don't want to trip about that the wings on here are removable as well as the tips so if you wanted to use the stems and put maybe some sharper or some more aggressive tips on there you could all you have to do is just screw them off like so as you can see it's getting ready to come off now as well as if you wanted some more upgraded i guess you call these wings i'm not sure what you would call them I can't do it with one hand to hold the camera, y'all, but you just screw them off too. So you can exchange out the wings as well as the tips and use these stems as well for a more upgraded round or arrow, if you will. So I think that's dope as well too. I also got some goodies, y'all. We'll be testing it out on this nice chunky slab of ham right here. We'll be using this to test um, to simulate how lethal this thing would be on some actual kind of meat or flesh as well as I got a coconut That's gonna be our little ballistics head right there or ballistic skull We're gonna use that to simulate that and then this is just for plinking man We're gonna test out the accuracy on this dr. Thunder. We'll be just plinking with these I'm gonna shake these up real nice without further ado, man Let me get y'all set up man so we can go ahead and test out 
how effective this little budget crossbow is. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and load up an arrow so we can see what this thing hitting on. This is how you go about actually cocking the string back, getting it loaded and ready to fire. You put your hand up front like so, and then you have to grab the stock end of the crossbow and just pull it back like you're breaking the shotgun barrel. And as you can see, that safety is on, man. So we want to make sure this thing is pointing in a safe direction at all times. At all times. All right, Fresh Tramp, so first shot, y'all. There's the entry. Here's the exit, y'all. All right, Fresh Tramp, let's go for another one. Safety is off. Crossbow pistol, y'all, man. This thing is no joke. Need your crossbow in the collection, man. For real. Man, now that I know how effective and how serious these crossbows are, it's time to invest some money, man. I'm going to step my game up, man. All right, y'all. Safety off. Last one, y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go ahead and test out this arrow on this 11 and a half pound slab of ham all right y'all so safety's off i'm gonna try to get dead center because i want to see how deep we can actually get in there that's what she said as you can see here's our penetration i couldn't see from back there because as you can see that black tip is blending in with that black label but from the side you can definitely see it sticking out a good bit let's pull this thing out yep so about maybe like three and a half inches of penetration all right, y'all, safety's off. Go a little higher this time. All right, Fresh Friends, so I was trying to avoid that bone right there, but I ended up just clipping it. But as you can see, way more penetration. What do you mean by that? Way more, man. I mean, we almost got this thing all the way in there. Look at that. Oh, man, that's the back of the arrow that came out. Oh yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave that in there um, just as a marker where we shot last, um, but that's definitely lethal for sure. So let's go ahead and take another shot at this thing. I kinda wanna try to see if I can get a through and through, man. I wanna see if I can actually penetrate this whole thing, man. So I'm gonna take a shot up here in this, in this region to see if we can get an exit wound on this bad boy. Fresh frame, we did it, y'all. As I suspected, I went for the left-hand side of the meat this time, and as you can see, here's our hole here, and I thought it was maybe just stuck all the way in the inside. Where's the hole, where's the hole, where are you? Here it is. It's very small, Fresh Fan, very small, but here's our exit wound. As you can see, that small little slit right there is the exit wound because the actual wings to the arrow are inside here. But check this out. What do we see right here, y'all? Here is the arrow right here, man. Here's the arrow right here, man. So we got an actual exit wound, man. So this thing is super effective, super powerful, man. At only 65 pounds, this is crazy, man. Check that out. There's an exit wound and just for depth perception, it traveled all the way through that, man. So definitely, man, this thing is not to be played with. And as you can see, like I said, here's that exit. So you can see that it travels in there smoothly with that hole right there. All right, so now I'm curious to see how well will it do on this coconut right here, man. Let's definitely try it on this coconut. I think this is the big test. I definitely expected something impressive on that meat, but I wanna see how this bad boy does on this coconut right here. So let me get this coconut set up, y'all. All right, Fresh Fans, so the ultimate test is gonna be what the penetration is like on this actual coconut, because this will really show you the type of power this thing possesses, as well as the effectiveness of this crossbow, man. So let's go ahead and get another arrow loader, get this thing charged up, and really see what this thing is working with. All right, Fresh Fans, so let's do it. I'm gonna have to get low on this one. Let me just aim for the center. Fresh fan. Fresh fan. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Almost broke the wings off this thing. 
Oh my goodness. Hold on. Man. If this thing did not have those wing tips on there, this thing would have probably went all the way through, man. As you can see, the wings peel back, stopping the velocity and the momentum of the arrow. All right, so fresh fam, as you can see, a little bit of a pressure bulge right here with a little bit of moisture. I'm telling you, this thing would have went through and through if those wings didn't peel back like that, stopping the velocity and the momentum of this thing, man. All right, we got to go again. All right, Fresh Fans, so I'm actually going to shoot from a seated position um, to see if I can get more of a level shot to see if we can actually get a through and through on this bad boy right here. Um, and hopefully we can get an uh, exit wound this time, y'all. So safety off, y'all. Let's see what we got. Try to go right above that other arrow. All right. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Tell me I ain't a shooter. Come on, y'all. what I just tell you? I said, I'm gonna try to get right above that other arrow. I ain't mean to put them on top of each other, man. Come on, man. Look at your boy, man. That's two arrows sitting on top of each other, man. This thing is accurate. Woo, we. I mean, granted, we not shooting from that far back, but I literally was aiming right over top of the other one. I literally put them things together, man. <laughs> This thing crazy, man. All right, come on. Let's get another one loaded up, man. We got to get through. So how, how about this time, y'all? I'm going to probably aim. I'm going to try to get it, like, up right in here to see if we can get. I just want to make it out the other side. Even if it doesn't go all the way through, I just want at least the, the point to be sticking out on the other side, man. Even though I'm already impressed. So come on, y'all. Let's get this thing loaded back up. All right, Fresh fans. So this is going to be our last shot. I'm um, trying to get uh, an exit wound out of this thing, man. So let's try to get an exit wound on the top of this coconut, man. Talking about taking his head off, huh? Fresh fan, we did it, y'all. We did it. As you can see, this thing is leaking too. So as you can see right here, there is the point of the arrow just gleaming out the back. So you can see that big crack right there. And as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see that good. There goes the point of that arrow right there. Yep, so as you can see, family, there goes the entry. You know what, let's shoot this thing one more time. All right, y'all, so right here is going to be our last shot. All right, Fresh Fan, well, can you call them triplets? Man, I just put three arrows through the same hole, man. Can y'all see that? Let me try to spread them apart. Three arrows through the same hole. Now, that's wild. If this will do this to a coconut, then you know what it'll do to this. So this is definitely effective. This will definitely be in my survival bug out SHTF loadout, man. This is super official. Listen, man, I am thoroughly impressed. I am impressed. By this little budget pistol crossbow. This is absolutely phenomenal. It's been a joy to shoot, man. If you all enjoyed it definitely hit that like button please do not hesitate to hit that like button this thing is absolutely pressure and it's worth every penny i'm glad that i got one as well as comment down below what you think about it i'm gonna give it a 10. let me know what y'all think though man i mean for what it is and the effectiveness of it and the strength of it man i'm gonna get this thing a 10. and if you haven't already man consider hitting that subscribe button man and joining the fresh fan because i told y'all man we are not going anywhere man but until the next time i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace i'm gonna have to start using these more